What is going on, yo? As per usual, in the third week of June every year, I am in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Southernmost city in the state. You can see the ocean view when you look past the construction. Double red flags out, so you can't go in the water. That's okay. We weren't going in the water today anyways. We went yesterday. Okay? But I just want to give y'all a couple of updates. Really exciting stuff. Okay? As y'all know, today is the long-awaited day um, for baseball in Birmingham, Alabama. Today is the return of professional baseball to Rickwood Field. Right? For the first time since 2019, so first time in five years, first time in half a decade, the Rickwood Classic is coming back to Rickwood Field. It's going to be the Montgomery Biscuits and the Birmingham Barons. They're going to be playing against the Montgomery Gray Sox and the Birmingham Black Barons. All right, it's going to be great. I know a guy. I went to umpire school with a guy who's going to be working that game. Um, fantastic. I'm not going to be there. But um, I just know I just know it's going to be awesome. Okay? Um, and then tomorrow, they're going to have a Juneteenth celebration there. And then the next day, Thursday, June 20th, that's the marquee event at Rickwood Field. The Major League Baseball game. The first regular season Major League Baseball game ever played in the great state of Alabama. And the pride that I have that I will be in attendance is beyond measure. I got the tickets. Um, they were more than I wanted, of course. Uh, I'm sure anybody would uh, say the same thing. But um, it's going to be awesome. Um, I've seen some pictures of what the field looks like. The outfield fence, it doesn't have ads on it anymore, but it just it's just padded in green. Um, the dugouts look like, you know, they could have been there. You know, they look like today's dugouts, but they're, you know, they're dark green. They're, um, they look like they just took the ones that were already there and just kind of turned ahead the clock, and that was it. There's a helmet rack, a bat rack. They didn't have those before. Please, if you want to go see what Rickwood Field looks like before, I have a two-part tour of Rickwood Field on my channel. Please go watch it. If you can't find it, let me know. I might have it unlisted. I will make it public again. I think I did that a while back. I made it public again, but if I didn't, uh, please let me know, and I'll do it. Um, uh, that, that, that's going to be awesome. It was a t uh, something where it's going to be one of those specialty events, kind of like the Field of Dreams and, and London and South Korea and Mexico City and all those others. You know, Rickwood Field. And I hope I hope it's every year. I do. I don't know if I'd be able to go every year. It's inconvenient this year because it's during our beach week. But um, I wanted to go, and I was telling my dad, say, hey, if we're able to get tickets, are you willing to go? And the answer he came up with was, yeah, we'll go. Now, he kept trying to talk about the likelihood of us getting tickets, I said, no, 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 don't focus on that. I'll take care of that, all right, if if we do or don't get tickets. There were times it looks like I wa wasn't going to get them. Those times it looks like it was. It, it, times it did look like it. Turns out I did, all right? It's fantastic, all right? But that brought an idea up into my head, all right? This is just food for thought. I doubt it would ever happen, but... With these specialty events, like for um, example, this Rickwood Field game, they opened up a lottery for it. And when I first told somebody um, this past week about, hey, I won a lottery for tickets, they said, I thought you know, I thought Alabama doesn't have a lottery. It's like, no, not that kind of lottery. <laughs> but <clears throat> um, and it was open for Alabama residents only, as it should have been. That is good on Major League Baseball. I don't need nobody from Idaho, who's just a Giants fan, doesn't give a dang about the history of baseball, coming to Rickwood Field and not appreciate it. All right, that, that'd be unacceptable to me. All right, and I, I know I've been around some people in Idaho. Uh, some of them aren't too pleasant, but I'm sure I'm sure it's a, a fine state. Okay, but it was available to Alabama residents only, and. 
van, you know, we could get the tickets and they're having this one time event and they're gonna wear uh, Negro League appropriate uniforms. Unfortunately, it came out earlier this week, Willie Mays is not going to be in attendance. He said he just doesn't move the way he used to, so he's going to watch from his home in the Bay Area. Um, I wish he could be there, but that's okay. But I had this idea. I, and I mentioned this to my dad a couple weeks ago. What if you did the same thing with the Astrodome? Again, I doubt it would ever happen. But you spruce it up, you put the money back in there, and you put baseball back in there. One time. Alright? And obviously the Astros would be the home team, they'd be a no-brainer. <clears throat> and they play against some National League team. Okay? You know, you'd probably make it look like, I mean, I guess you could make it look like any era you wanted to. Obviously I'd prefer how it looked when it first uh, opened. 1965, except, you know, put AstroTurf in there, so pretty much the late 60s and into the uh, uh, mid-70s until they just had the dirt pits. And you put down the AstroTurf, and <clears throat> you'd probably have to put down updated AstroTurf today. You wouldn't want to, you probably wouldn't be able to use the uh, original stuff because of just standards of big league fields today. And Major League Baseball's um, rules on that, that's okay. And, you know, you could really put money into it. And it would be kind of part of a revitalization of the Dome where you have that every year. But then it's open to the community. It could be a public park. It could be all these ideas people have had. You could do most of them, you know. But then that, that would give Houston the resources for Major League Baseball and the motivation to want to spice it up. And then, obviously, I prefer for them to wear the, you know, Orange Crush 1971 uniforms and throw back to, you know, that time period. Um, but what I did, I'm going to try to put this at the end of this video, but I went and kind of put together the uniform combinations of that Astros uniform and then the visiting team uniform of other teams in the National League that what it could appropriately play in, you know, that hypothetical, you know, return to the Astrodome game. And, you know, if that, that, if that would be a case where that lottery should be open to Texas residents only, in fact, you'd probably want to say, um, maybe you'd want to put like a benchmark and say, you know, available only to residents living below, um, like, Austin or something like that. I mean, you know. You don't want people who don't appreciate it don't. And so, I, th I think that'd be really cool. Um, tickets would be expensive, of course. I mean, they were to Rickwood Field. But, yeah, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try to put those at the end of the video. I want you to look through, these, through those combinations. I want you to see which combination of uniform you like the best. Um, you know, I'll have like the Astros and the Braves, Astros and the Dodgers, Astros and the Padres, Astros and the Cardinals, Astros and the Cubs, all sorts of different ones. I figured you'd probably want to have a team that was in the National League West, so that'd be Braves, Giants, Dodgers, Reds, Padres, probably not the Padres, um, probably not the Reds, uh, probably not the Braves just because the Braves have always had the Astros number, so probably Do Giants or Dodgers, I'd prefer Dodgers because you'd have the difference in color combination. The Giants had orange too. Dodgers, your blue. Astros, your orange. You have a great looking color combination there. Um, but, you know, I'll let you look through them and what team would you like for the Astros to play in that kind of situation, in that a game like that, and which uniform combination do you, you know, would you most want to see, All right? So, just figured I'd give you an update and uh, throw out that idea doubt it would ever happen, but it would, uh, you know, I think it'd be awesome, you know, and that would also, if uh, the Astros, if the Astrodome wanted to host a, um, like a summer college with bad team, like I suggested in some video, in a video a few months ago, that would spice up the field for that purpose, and then every year you just have MLB there, alright, so, um, that's all I got. 
reaching 10 minutes of this video already and there's a lot of construction going on in the background they're building a hotel but I appreciate it and y'all will be hearing from me on Thursday some videos probably some pictures too probably some shorts the short videos all right but y'all stay tuned for that it's going to be exciting thank y'all very much